Hey, Chocolateites, how's it going today? Uh, today we have a 2005 Gibson SG Supreme. These are kind of interesting little guitars. They're the body shape of an SG. They kind of have a, a, a slightly carved top. It's not like the Diablos, but I mean, just a, you know, your, your, your typical beveling on an SG, but with a, a nice flame top, as you can see here which most SGs don't get flame tops. Uh, this guitar is in good overall condition. It does have a few minor things to note, but overall it's in good shape, has its original case. So let's take a look. It has the Gibson Custom headstock on it. So if you're looking for a, a guitar with the uh, diamond inlays on it, these are actually a fairly inexpensive option to get into one of them. As you can see, there is a little bit of a discoloration kind of at the top there. A little bit red in your typical uh, lines around the logos because of how Gibson does their sandblasting. Truss rod functions all right. You got an ebony fretboard on these guys with uh, these inlays. I think... I think the very earliest use of this inlay was on the Trini Lopez model if I'm from the 60s, if I'm remembering correctly. But I always remember this one from the uh, a late 80s model called the US-1. So it's very cool that it has that. Uh, you have very, very minor fret wear. I'm, I'm really not seeing any. And you have a, a new nut on here. And when they did the nut, while it was done professionally... You can see that the finish did chip a little bit when removing the original nut. No big deal, it is very small. And something else to note is along the sides of the neck, there is that little line running up and down. That's just where the fretboard meets the body. Let's see if we can get a better foot. There we go. I mean, that's not a separation, it's not a crack, it's just where the fretboard kind of meets the body. Fairly common to see, but it is there. So if you don't like that, then don't buy this guitar. <laughs> uh, everything's stock on this one. It looks like a 57 Classics. Uh, your gold hardware is very slightly tarnished, as you can kind of see. It's got that nice worn-in look going on. As you can see, beautiful flame top. I mean, some of these flame tops on these SG Supremes are a little bit plain, but this, this one's pretty active. I like it. But, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this finish myself, but the, the more I look at it in person, the more it grows on me, because it just looks like this half of the guitar is red and this half is yellow. But in person, it's a little bit more, you know, goes from very dark red to kind of a lighter red to an orangish orangish and then a little bit more yellow orange and then yellow so it's kind of like a rainbow of uh, red and orange to yellow colors so i would say this guitar doesn't photograph well is what i'm getting at here now there's a plethora of uh, playing wear smudges and all that on this guitar so it's already worn in for you i mean you could polish this up and make it look good i'm sure but this is a player's guitar, just play the thing. Now to address the elephant in the room, you do have the good old snake bite. Uh, somebody had a Bigsby on this at one point in time and it has been removed and the holes were filled in there. Which, I mean, it's not super apparent, but it's not super well hidden either, but it's kind of hard to hide those anyways. But that is there. That's going to keep the price down on this one. I mean, some of these sell for as high as two grand. Most of them sell in that uh, 14 to 16 range. So we'll definitely be in the lower end of this. I guess something that I would complain about from Gibson is why the black back? I, I wish they would have done a little something better with the SG Supremes here. But, hey... <laughs> Because, like, the uh, Les Paul Supremes, they got a flamed back. Why can't the SGs have that? Maybe it's because they're too thin. But I hate Les Paul Supremes because you can't 
access because they don't have a control plate on the back like the SGs do. So you can't switch pickups out and you can't verify if they're original without going through a lot of pain. All right, so this is a 2005 model, very early 2005. You can see the 20th day of the year there. And with the black finish, you're going to see everything. All this is is polishing marks because it was kind of dirty. And right before this, I took some uh, light lemon oil and kind of, you know, brushed it over to kind of clean it up. But the guitar with a black back, it, it's just kind of looked dirty in general. So you got, um, I guess that's nothing. No brakes, cracks, or repairs. These are pretty common for having headstock brakes, but this one is good. I guess that's the uh, Deluxe, the SG Deluxe, the one that they kind of recently made in like green finishes and stuff. Those guys were prone to headstock brakes. You see them every day on the market, but this is definitely the nicer one. All right, if we can get the camera to focus again here, we can keep talking. It always does this with a black guitar. Well, I guess we'll have to do it like this. There we go. So as you can see, once again, that's just smudges. It's not a finish error. It's just kind of some lemon oil on it. So you've got lots of wear, wear and tear, scratches, buckle wear. This is a player's guitar. I mean, if you're looking for a mint condition one, definitely not this one. But... Not to say this one's trashed either. I mean, it's all original. Nothing's been touched, uh, well, except for the nut. But besides that, it's a nice playing guitar. I'm not a huge fan of SGs, but for an SG, it's a nice looking guitar. You do have the original case over here, as you can see. It's gray interior, that kind of black snakeskin outside exterior. The combo lock has not been set yet. No, oh, excuse me. But overall, it's a cool guitar. So if you think you might be interested in owning this 2005 Gibson SG Supreme, feel free to contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglies, T-R-O-G-O-Y-S. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all the guitars we have for sale, as well as just learn about guitars and various models. Hey, and don't forget to leave a comment. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.